Well, we are here with Don Nauman from Nauman Vineyards uh -huh. uh, in the Cupertino foothills, essentially, right, Don? Correct. And tell us a little bit about the winery. You're, you're uh, family owned, obviously, it's your winery. Uh, tell us a little bit about it. Uh, we, I planted the grapes in 94. Okay. We, we're right at 2,000 foot elevation up in the Santa Cruz Mountains. Uh, we're, uh, we only do about 750 cases a year. Okay. We have we grow all our Merlot on site and some of our Cab on site, and then we buy our Chardonnay and our Petit Verdot and our Cab Franc. Okay. How did you decide to start a winery? My wife said I needed a hobby. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, and so, how long have you had your hobby? <laughs> well, I, we planted our well, we planted grapes in '94, but our first vintage under our own label was 2001. Okay, wow. So uh, that's almost 15 over 15 years now. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how and many, how many acres of, of, of grapes on the property itself? Oh well, we have 10 acres up there, but right now we have about three acres that are under cultivation right there. Okay. And then, uh, we buy, like I said, we buy the rest of the grapes. Okay. And what are some of your favorites from the winery? Oh, well, we we're, we specialize in Merlot, and then so everything's kind of more Merlot based. So okay. our, our Trey Rosso Cali, which is our, our flagship Bordeaux style blend, is 45 to 50% Merlot. And then we have Cabernet Sauvignon in it, Cabernet Franc, and Petit Verdot in it. And then so that's pretty much our, uh, uh, like I say, our, our number one. We do a rose Merlot. It's very unique. There's only like one other winery in the state of California that does a Merlot rose. And we're pretty proud of that too. Um, and then now we're we're starting to branch off a little bit. We have some straight Cabernet, we have a uh, and some Petit Verdot that you can also buy. Great. And uh, tell us a little bit more about this rosé that you that you have. That's very unique. How did you come up with that? Uh, it, we have a, a part of vineyard uh, in our vineyard that harvests. We have to harvest it later, and it has a natural spring that comes through it. And so it's juicier nice. fruit and I really didn't want it in the blend with with the traditional Merlot because sure. we dry farm most mm -hmm. people irrigate we don't irrigate at all we haven't irrigated since the two years uh, the, that we planted wow. and so there's drip out there but it's all coyotes ate it <laughs> it's useless, <laughs> useless so but we are using the um, uh, that grape I it, it, it's it's different but it's okay for a rosé you chill a rosé we, we make it steel all our other uh, uh, you know, wines are made in oak, French yeah. oak, yeah. and we we make it like like the 16 that we made. We're bottling, it, we've already bottled it, and we're almost sold out already. Oh, great! Yeah, it goes real fast. Now we're, we're we're here at the uh, Los Altos Art Wine Festival, and uh, how many years have you um, uh, been here? Uh, we, uh, Eleven years. Now. Oh, wow. Eleven years. Yes. No kidding. That's great. It's a great great experience. I really like yeah. this. Yeah. It's one of our favorite festivals. Is it? And are you open to the public for tastings? Tell us a little bit about how, when you're open and how people can come and... Uh, we're only open things. five days a year. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're real small. Yeah. Uh, we normally go out on my deck, which we have a view of the whole Bay Area. So oh, nice. It, so it's pretty nice. We're open what they call Passport Days, which with the Santa Cruz Mountain Wine Growers Association is the third Saturday in every three, every three months. So it's January. April, July, and it would be October. We're all busy harvesting, so we do it in <laughs> November. Yeah. Uh, and then I'll, I'm always open. Uh, we have a, a release party, and it's the end of August. It's like this year's the 26th of August. Uh, and people can come up, taste our 14 Merlot, because we leave it to French Open for two years, and then, let, and then uh, in a bottle for a year before we release it. And we'll have a giant party. Oh, terrific. So and the, is that open to the public? That's open to the public. And that's, that's great. And that's on the 26th of, of August. August. Yeah, yeah, we'll have to make it up there. Yeah. yeah. And next week, too, we're open for Passport Day. Oh, terrific. Oh, oh great. Yeah. yeah, maybe we'll make it up there for that. Awesome. So uh, we have to put you on the spot. Um, we pair our wines with music. Uh, what style of music do you like? Whoa. That we can play on acoustic instruments. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like like a light country. I, 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 light wait, country, wait. yeah. Okay, okay. all right. And, and light rock. All right, light country and light rock. We'll we'll try to work that out. I think we can do that. Yeah, well, I think we can too. All right. We appreciate your time, Don. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate you. Okay. Coming. Thank you.
expression that it begins. Keeps me searching for a heart of gold. Head north. Keeps me searching for a heart of gold. Head north. Searching for a heart of gold Keeps me searching and I'm getting on Keeps me searching for a heart of gold Keeps me searching for 